All right, welcome to Wild wow Such Gaming. Zach here. We are gonna be playing a game that's kind of old now, Left 4 Dead 2. It's been what seven years? Well, the last blog post was freaking what four years ago. God damn, man. Well, you can tell I got an affinity for Doge, but let's go ahead and show you a glitch that you can use to skip part of the map, go outside of the map, or if you are like me, you could go out and troll the hell out of the enemy team. Now we're gonna pick the parish, you're gonna go to the final chapter, the bridge, that's the the crescendo event, and then you're gonna pick, you don't have to, but it's my favorite, coach. So go ahead and start the game up. And of course, Left 4 Dead 2's got some of the longest loading times in any ga game I have ever played. Now, this, I just want you to load, this is my first video, so if I'm sounding a little rough, forgive me, but Left 4 Dead 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, probably my favorite game of all time, although I do do off swings with Pokemon and Call of Duty, nope. don't hate me for saying that, even though Infant Warfare looks horrible. We got Battlefield 1, I was never a Battlefield player, but anyways, Left 4 Dead's always been my passion, so I'm going to show you some of the glitches we're going to start off today with the out of the map glitch on the bridge crescendo of the parish finale. Now, it doesn't matter what you really pick. I always prefer Molotovs. It gets to the hordes off even faster. You're going to want a melee weapon just in case the zombies are overflowing you. No. Horde. Whatever you want to call it. Zombie is kind of a niche term that nobody likes to use anymore. And here's a little glitch you can use to get you know, out of the way of commons. If, you know, or if you're playing versus, get out of the way, especially with the but anyway, we we'll go ahead and start the bridge. You gotta wait for it, so if you got a short attention span, go ahead and skip a few minutes into the video. And yeah. So we're gonna be waiting. So how do you feel about Coach? I think he's the best character. Let me know in the comments who is your favorite character of the Left 4 Dead franchise. Rochelle, Nick, Ellis, Bill, Lewis, Francis, Zoe, or of course Coach. Now, you're just going to want to rush through, versus you're not going to want to rush because you are going to get decimated. I'm playing on easy mode, so this is no real trial to me. But just, this is right near the end of it where you grab the grenade launcher on the army truck. But, I'm also, let's see, let's talk about wow such gaming while we wait. I, I'm starting out, I've been doing radio for a bit, and gaming has been a, an affinity of mine. So I'm going to get some of that to you. Now this is the crappy way of doing it. I will get a game capture device eventually, but I did all of this through the Xbox capture system. And before I figured out you could do five minute clips, I did all these in 30 second intervals. So this whole video is 30 second clips back to back. I got a timer on my phone out and everything to make the sync up, like right there. It just skipped. <laughs> I'm not a professional just yet, but bear with me. So we're about to get to the spot where we need to be. I got the gas can because there's always a tank that spawns here. Left 4 Dead's been out for seven years, so you should know by now that a tank's going to spawn. Go ahead and shoot that, get the tank. It's only at 3,000 health, so I really wouldn't worry about it. I mean, you could tackle it dead on. And boom, it's down. So you're going to keep going. Get past the cars, get past the fire. Fire's not going to really damage you. I'm still at 99 health. That tells you something. So here is where you need to go. You're going to jump over, and you're going to get over these trucks, and this is where you need to get rid of that hunter. Reload your gun, and then you're going to go over here where I'm throwing the fire. Go onto this bus here, and then you see that little peg, that little steel beam? You're going to jump squarely on that piece of square I'm shooting right now. It's right directly there. Okay, so you're going to jump there. I messed up and didn't put a clip of me actually jumping on it, but here I am on it. And see, they didn't make the texture right, so you can walk right through it, and you get on top of the bridge. You can do whatever you want on here, because the bridge is physical, you can walk on it. And you can take this all the way till the end. The tank can't get you. Jockey, I don't think you can jump up there. The only thing that can't really get you is a uh, smoker and hunter, so I'd keep an eye out for smokers, definitely. And then, see, you can jump down right around here. See, you're right out of the way of the commons. They can't get to you at all, and there's another skip. And here's the jump point if you ever just want to finish the finale on Versus or whatever. Grenade launcher's right there for you to grab. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep going and show off what is back here. Now, if you don't want to see it, go ahead and skip it. 
drop me a like and subscribe or comment or whatever you want to do. But this is what's outside the map of the parish, the bridge finale. See, it's our, you could tell this is where the developers, Valve decided, eh, no one's ever going to be back here. Like, these random ass trees, like, were they smoking trees when they put those trees there? I don't know. Like, I know outside the map of No Mercy, you can see, like, a really condensed version of the map. HACKS! So, that was pretty cool. I didn't see anything like that here, but you can see, like, little elements that they kept for some reason, like, a giant rectangle. I'm at the end, so this spot here is perfect for trolling if you're on Versus. The enemy team at first won't find you. I messed up the clip here, but that's fine. So you can go under that and jump over here. I think this is where I actually killed myself. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. So this is me killing myself. I put the clips in wrong order. Yeah, here we go. Boom. Yeah, so if you go outside the map, you're going to die. If you drop anywhere that's not physically there. Because they, they're a little... They're smart. Let's, let's admit that. It's Valve. But, hey... Who's punt for Left 4 Dead 3? Come on. I mean, there hasn't been any literal concrete information. I don't care what your sources say. If Valve doesn't announce that Left 4 Dead 3 has information, like, we know it's in production. It's a big money maker. I mean, everything from Valve is. Okay, so if you want to get down from the bridge, you're going to want to jump down from the, here to the roof. Look, I'm going to shoot right here. You're going to want to land there. You're going to want to crouch. Don't jump because you want the least amount of fall you can get. And so when you jump down, you can go inside of this. This is the perfect way to troll people in verses. Because if you turn off your light and crouch, your little blue outline does not show up. And so if the other team doesn't notice you go this way, you can go in there and boom, and they don't notice you. All unless you're playing... Well, of course you're playing verses, but if they go into camera mode once they die, they can perfectly see you. And I'm going to trip you out just for a second, but... I think that's a pretty neat way to troll people. And you can also jump to the other roof and troll from there. Now we're going to keep going. And I'm just going to show you. There's an invisible wall here. And that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm gay. And, uh, shoot, I think I made this video too long, didn't I? I'll have to condense these because you might have a short attention span. Now, you might wonder why I chose Doge. I think he's the best meme, and honestly, I couldn't think of anything else. So, that's a placeholder for now, so wow, such gaming. Drop me a like and subscribe, please. I'd be eternally grateful. I'll drop more Left 4 Dead glitches, because I've been playing for seven years, so I know every single Left 4 Dead glitch spot. Little nicks and crannies for your hunters to get maximum damage. If you look there, that's actually a bus from Blood Harvest. I'm sorry, not Blood Harvest, uh, Death Toll. They snuck that in there as a little Easter egg. I guess they... I'm sure somebody would have found it, but here's some 2D trees because, you know, you can't make everything in the game completely realistic, especially for a game that was 2009. That's still hard for me to believe this. This game is almost seven years old. Left 4 Dead 1, 8. And, and here's another tidbit. All AI cannot find you when you're beyond the fence. The only time you can ever get hurt beyond this area is when a player in versus mode comes for you. Now when you're behind this area, there's no way to get back. Once you drop down from the bridge, there's no way to get back until you die. And it's funny because you can see here they didn't even make like a ridge or drop off, it's just a straight line. So yeah, there's the glitch. You can utilize this however you want. You could just screw around like you used to do when you were a kid. Like I used to explore around on Super Mario 64 trying to get up the hills thinking there was more to it. There's not. The video games have their limitations, but hell, it's fun to see what these games have more than what is in the linear pathway. Left 4 Dead's kind of a strict linear game, but that's what I love about it, because it's fun in a linear way, which a lot of games don't do these days. Anyways, guys, it was great, and if you want more glitch videos or more, I'm going to be making a top 10 list of what we need in Left 4 Dead 3. Drop me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. I am Wow Such Gaming, and until next time, this Hacks! is Left 4 Dead 2 with Wow Such Gaming. We got some bloopers for you. Stick around.